all these other things. Then the conversation went on to black unemployment, which, by the way, is at a historical low. Yeah. And what did he say to Van Jones, and what did they agree on, basically? They did not give credit to the president of the United States, and then they said that that doesn't matter, that black unemployment, black opportunity in urban America, what have you, more opportunity for people's families, uh, more security, more financial security, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Why? Because President Trump is responsible for it, and they didn't want to give him any credit. So then, White Lab Jones, the new pro-black, anti-white militant host of his own show, also refused Racist. to even give oh. President Trump any credit at all for the tax cuts, for anything. Not just for black America, but for white America, for Keep all of America. Watch, <laughs> nothing at all. Just nothing Go for it. Russia, 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 Russia. Cousin Jason's but wife. But this is who CNN, Roberta, CNN she is. She told me. So, you know, there's really... Nothing that her and some, some friends about. were talking at the um, church, dude, about but with Jay -Z some lady brought up. But Jay-Z and Van Jones fail to realize is that there's something that out there se uh, that they're having a you know, very hard it, time in, in, grasping in the follow ones, they don't know when their time's coming, only the son and the, the father do. So therefore, the facts, Satan's always got to have okay. a fucking antichrist. Barack Hussein Obama was considered and the when, black when Jesus. she told me that, the I was like, savior. I told him to my rocker, dude, and no it makes some no sense, dude, you know what I mean? Water. Remember the columns that they brought yeah, out? So how did Trump uh, just happen to get by and get in there, you know what I mean? It's freaking all crazy, dude, like, and it's like, yeah, we want to, I don't know. So much to the point that people were supposed to not pay their mortgages anymore. You know, I mean, I know that they're bashing him in every aspect. I don't want to bash him. I don't want to think like that. I love the dude, but still, they're still coming us. They're still doing all this shit. Muslims still coming. I know he can only do so much, but I don't know. I just don't want to have too much hope now, too. I'm just like, fuck, dude. It's still inevitable. I so think, I hope he's the president going to lead, lead us in the revolution because ain't nothing going to change, dude. But you know the reality what I, mean? is I want to say it a million times, man. Obama, if you want to win the hearts and the minds of the people, you give them everything they want. So when you give them record tax cuts, when you give them all these different things that they've been screaming for or for so long and make them feel so proud, you can literally get away with anything. Okay, I saw Star Wars. I know what this Senator Popperteen or whatever his name was. I know the evil emperor. Okay, I know he was trying or played to be a good guy. Until he screwed everybody over and started shooting lightning out of his fingertips. say about to, that ready, there was jobs, a big vote yeah, social media wise for him and, and i think it did piss a lot of people money, off and i think money, it is exactly what helped them win the campaign back, which is why we have okay and i know it pissed off facebook be all eyes on that shit huh to and where the Reagan could be, yeah, he did, he, he did, he, he, he put him out there and said all that shit's real. He, he said, the media's lying, yeah. they won't show me. He said the, that system's rigged, the people are getting screwed. He said all the right things to get people in. And, and I like what he's doing. Okay, but... I will say that there are things that, I, okay, this DACA, why is he still negotiating DACA? You're talking about the rights of illegal immigrants. They're freaking illegal. They don't have rights. Why are we even negotiating that? 
Okay. Uh, that's my thing. They're illegal. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. me, he should straight up say they're illegal. They're breaking the law. We don't negotiate with that. Okay. They did. I mean, there are just some things that. And, and then when you add in the lifetime of no new taxes right before the highest tax increase of all time, senior. And then you add in, I didn't have sexual relations with her. I didn't inhale. And then you add in junior. I mean, Clinton, uh, it's, it's a big bunch of ridiculous lies the whole way. So when I see Trump, I want to believe he is everything he says he is. Some of the things he's doing is great right now, but what's going to happen in four years or five years if he gets reelected and he's already achieved all of this? What kinds of agenda is he going to have when he has the people eating out of his hand? And, and mind you, I, I voted for him. I support Trump because I support the whole America first, people first movement. I like the idea of the people. But that is a hard, far-fetched idea now. And to me, I, I hope it's just not a, a, a phrase he threw around to get votes. Because, I mean... Yeah, you never know. We'll see, dude. I mean, if the cannon gun stop, dude, by his first term, by the time his first term's done, he won't get any respect or fucking anything from me, dude. You know what I mean? Well, see, this is what you're saying. Not only the Kimmy, but I'm still eating hormones in my food. Dude, and all that. The Gwen Towers are still pumping that shit out, dude. I uh huh. Sensitive. And not only that, but they're popping noodles up everywhere, dude. I'm fucking seeing them first hand, dude. You know where the, one of the biggest ones is right by the jail? Boom! You know, when we pump all that shit into the fucking inmates, make them crazy. Dude, I've witnessed that shit all across the country. Fucking Walmart, uh, shopping centers, dude. Right in fucking right by residential neighborhoods, by fucking big trailer parks or fucking. You know, wherever people are, dude. It's fucking sick. You little mystery. It's mystery. Serious omen. Pumping fucking chemicals. It's pumping juju, dude. It's like fucking like bad boy. Like demonic vibes and shit. Uh, what's those big fucking well, yeah, that's what they're for. Yeah. They're for fucking mind control. Dude. Oh, that shit. Dude, it's wicked, dude. A deadly loopholes that have allowed MS-13 and other criminal gangs to break into our country. We have proposed new legislation that will fix our immigration laws and support our ICE and Border Patrol agents. These are great people. These are great, great people that work so hard in the midst of such danger. Like this, this bullshit. What? You know, it, thank God I'm not present, because you know what I would have done in that whole negotiating with that fucking DACA slash wall bullshit? I said, look, here's what we're going to do. One, I'm not negotiating the illegals. They broke the law. They're gone. Two, you want to find funding for the wall? Okay, I'm taking the billion dollars or the $3.2 trillion that the America spends on the war on drugs. And I'm throwing that on building the fucking wall. Because once that wall is built, I don't have to worry about drugs. Yep. And that's what I would do. And then none of this matters. There's no... And that would put an errand on prohibition, period. And, on weed and, shit like and that. see, the well, problem is, like is he's willing to allow one billion illegals to come in in order to negotiate the wall. So he's, he's willing to negotiate one billion already here illegals through DACA in order to get the wall funded. No, fuck no. That illegal. Get the fuck out of one my country. Million, dude. We've only got 320 million people in our country. One billion. What, what is that? The cap on how many of them can come to us? That's how many are here that's accepted. So register. You have one million limit. The first million or, or first billion to register would be legal here. And they would fund the wall. Anything over that billion is not legal and would have to leave. And the sacred duty of every elected official in this chamber. It don't make sense to me because I'm like, they're illegal. I'm not negotiating that. We have other means to build that wall. And their right 
you know, we pay Mexico $20 million a year for joint operations. Other countries from fucking invading us Red Dawn style up from Mexico, dude, which would be huge. You know, it would really help us, but it's, a wall would not keep the drugs out anyway, dude. The drugs still fucking get flooded through here, through, through the routes, through the joint drug routes. operation. Passing drugs back and forth. And underneath, sure money they had fucking tunnels, dude. All underneath that, the wall would just be mainly for fucking immigrants, dude, and to keep so, help secure our fucking home in front, dude. It would be crucial, dude. It ain't gonna do shit for drugs. The wall gonna do a fucking thing. For drugs. He's talking about possibly you know, ten to twenty feet deep. You know what I mean? What's that? A wall? The go, wall go ten to twenty feet deep. Well, they be fucking dude. Those ones that they bust all the time, those are just ones. That oh, no, dude, the ones he's talking about is a wall, wow. not a fence, a fucking wall. Yeah, they got and these new machines that drill holes almost uh, 200 feet deep, they and they pour concrete in it. And Here's another wall. thing he's talking about. Here's another thing he's talking about is a buffer zone. So he's going to take the American line and he's going to build it back. And he's and he's building these like machines. My friend in uh, Maryland is making them. He works at a place that's making them. There's these they're these little unmanned uh, border machines. They, they they travel around. If they pick up any kind of indication out there, anything pops up, boom, and it like detects it. And it's a uh, an unmanned, basically security machine. That is stationed in this buffer zone. So if anybody or anything moves in this zone, we automatically know right when where. I mean, and and I will say that I realize it's, nothing's going to be 100% effective. But even if we can take 75% of it out, we're at least making a dent. You know? And that's... Personally, personally, to add, to my point, to, to answer that, here's what I would say. It was always really easy when the government is paying the federales who are controlled by the cartels to walk through the holes. Okay, when the American government wants the drugs to come in, they'll pay the federales and the cartels to bring it in because that's what their black ops have been funded on for years. So that's where I'm saying if he really, and this is where I'm calling out Trump right now because if I'm the president, I'm walking up there and I'm saying here's how it is. I'm not paying those joint operations anymore. We're not working with the federales. We're not working with the cartels. It's a fucking sham. Well, that's like you're saying too. It kind of makes me mad. What he talks about the federal government. When you work too. with the Mexicans, you're telling them everything for the cartels or not? You cut that shit off. Anyway, you're saying. No, just when he was bringing up with the with the FBI to uh, about supporting Jeff Sessions and the federal government on 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 you know whatever the war on drugs and, and, and marijuana and shit. They were having the Saudi Arabian military. I don't like that shit. They just all fucking operatives in. They then used it now in the Middle Eastern. Even fucking Republicans from Colorado and the other ones are like, man, that's bullshit. You know what I mean? It's it's a dude. 
it, it's a scam because what they're doing is the calm before the storm. They're taking it to control it. And that's what they did. They Think of it like a soft opening. They threw... It's totally what it is, dude. All, all of it. And now that's why more and more states have got legal right before they take it over. And yeah. Dude, it's all it's legal. It. Get you addicted. Yeah. Get you happy. Get you wanting get you it. Do it. Yeah. And then we're going to make it illegal. Once you guys complain about it, prohibition, we're going to come in and we're going to legalize it, but we're going to control it. And that's, that's what they're going to do because that's our government. Our government ain't for us. No, they're greens. Dude, I think they're for me, dude. That pentagon in the sky makes me pretty fucking... Nathan in Tennessee, you're on the air world. Oh, they're so for you. They got the Come here, guys. Come here, guys. I love you guys. Come here. Oh, you know you want that kind of love. Love this guy, dude. Call him up! Call him Watch your heart trying to rip out of your chest! What they say is, I think in Matthew and Luke, I'm pretty sure I know it's at least in Luke, but it talks about it's harder for a rich man to pass through the eye or uh, to get to heaven than it is through a camel to fit through the eye of a needle, they you know, And it's fucking so true, it's like, dude. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. other side just does not understand it all. Probably 1% of wealthy people do have our rights as well. 